My name is Persephone, and I don't know who he is. He, uh, he doesn't know me, and I just want to know why he did it, because I was innocent. He didn't know me. I came out of the club, and he was standing there and just shot me. Yes. Uh, so as far as that question is concerned, I'm going to ask you not to say anything about that. Okay. But I understand uh, why you have that question. Okay. Anything further, man? Let me ask you a couple questions. Number one, um, are you in fear for your safety? Yeah. Okay. And secondly, because you don't know the defendant, you really don't know if he is likely to appear in the court, I would assume, correct? Not at all. Okay. Anything further, man? Okay. No, I'm just thankful I have my life. I understand. Uh, Your Honor, I was out. The family asked me to be down here just to make a special appearance um, for the bond. I explained to them the seriousness of the charges um, and the likelihood of probably a no bond at this point. So, and, and I've explained that to uh, Mr. Bryan. So, we're actually good with waiving our right to a bond at this point and just approaching that in general sessions um, to save some, the court some time and Understood. angst. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Bryan, in light of your charges, sir, uh, the court can set a bond because it's an attempted murder rather than a murder. Uh, but I'm not going to do that in light of the fact that you were charged with resisting arrest and fleeing from law enforcement. Uh, I do consider this a light risk. So I'm going to no bond you on all of your high court charges. We're going to give you a retirement bond on your EDL of $350. So uh, you're not paying any money on that particular charge. Now, you'll be appearing before a circuit court judge at a later date. At that time, I'm sure you will be getting a bond. I can't tell you that you'll be able to make it or not, because uh, I don't know what that amount is, but uh, you will be given a bond at that time, I'm sure. As a condition of your bond, sir, you're not to have any contact with the victim, no phone calls, no emails, no conversations, no face-to-face -face contact, etc. And if you have any questions, I can answer for you. Okay. We'll get your paperwork to you if you would step up to the window, please. And why did you decide to show up today? Uh, because I feel like I was an innocent bystander. Um, I don't know. I'm just curious as to why I'm here in, in this situation. And I've, I was horrified, basically, that that happened to me. And I have children. And it's like my life just flashed between right before my eyes, basically. So you're saying you didn't know him? Not at all. Um, I came out of the bar we was at, and I turned to my left, and he was standing there with the gun, and he just shot me. There was no altercation between us. Um, I know the news said that there was a group, of, like an incident outside that never even happened. So I was kind of baffled about that, but yeah, I just walked out and looked and he was standing there and he just shot me. So you're saying you guys didn't really have any kind of conversation beforehand? Not at all. So you have just, you're, you're confused? Yeah. What have the last couple of days been like? <sighs> um, painful. I mean, I can't really move. I can't work. It's been like life changing. My son, he's he's been helping me get, and my boyfriend Dave's been helping me go, you know, get to or from, but I can't really do anything. What have the doctors told you about your injury here? Uh, that I was blessed, that um, the gunshot wound didn't break a bone or do anything destructive to my leg, but it is bad. It's really painful. Did they tell you how long it might take to recover? Uh, anywhere from weeks to months. And you made a powerful statement to the judge earlier that you're, you're thankful. I'm thankful that I am here and I thank God for his mercy that he saw fit to spare my life. And I'm just thankful to be here. And how will you move forward? I was just praying that God would give me the strength to overcome this. And whatever my purpose is, I want to fulfill that.
do you feel like you, you got something out of coming here today? Yeah, I feel like I got justice. Because a lot of people, these things happen to, they never know who it is and they never find them. And my sister, she was hit years ago and they never found out who did it. And she had life changes that happened to her too. And I'm here for her too. And I'm speaking on all her life, her life as well. well. We appreciate you sharing. Do you still hope to talk to him and ask him why he did it in, in face to face? It doesn't have to be face to face, but I do want to know what it was, like what led him to do something like that. Not knowing a person and just reacting that like that. I don't. I really do want to know, but it doesn't have to be face to face. So no. the moments right before it happened. I mean, you're just kind of doing your own thing. I was leaving. I was actually leaving, and and when I walked out, he was there. I know he got put out earlier, so I thought he was gone. You know, but. Evidently, the, the club didn't make sure he was off the premises. There was no security. Um, I feel like if it was security at the club, it maybe it could have prevented something from this from happening. And there was no security outside at all. Anyone else would like to ask um, How do you like, feel about that um, Bucks, Racks, and Ribs being an establishment now? Like you said, there's no security. In situations where there should probably well, they, I see now why they may have shut them down before if something like that has happened. I mean, it's a that's a club. It should be security. You know, you should you have to fear for your life coming out of somewhere. You know. Do you have a young? You mentioned you have a son. Is he young? I have four children. Uh, they're 16, 13, 7, and eight. How do you have talk with them about this? I just, they just want to know what happened to me, and I just explain it, you know, that I was in the, at the wrong place at the wrong time.